Open 3ds Max if you don't already have it open. We're going to use 3ds Max as a file viewer to examine the JPEG file of our storyboard. On the Command Panel, Utilities tab, click Asset Browser. The Asset Browser allows you to look for 3ds Max and image files in a more visual way. When the browser opens, you will see a notice that is a basic copyright notice. Click OK to close the pop-up. Navigate to the Scene Assets directory in the 3D Production Project directory, then to the Images directory. In the Images directory, you'll see a file called storyboard underscore panel one dot JPEG. Double click the file to load the image. Your view may not look exactly like mine. What we're looking at now is storyboard number one. There's a fair amount of information that we see. It's a long shot of an exterior scene. We have the description of the sun location for lighting, a description of the camera location, and we have a description of what the camera is going to do. In this case, it's going to start from one viewpoint and end up at street level, looking down the street. In this scene, we need only minimum building detail because the shot is a long way out, and small details will not be seen anyway. Why do we want to have minimum scene detail? For one reason, render time. Remember, the less detail, the faster the render time. And since we have no need for high resolution models, since we're not getting very close, there's no need to put them in. All this would do is increase the render time and the complexity of our scene for no reason. Close the image viewer. Double click storyboard panel 2.jpg to open it. If you need to, you can adjust the size of the viewer. Here in the second panel, we see a close up of the exterior of one of the buildings on the street. So we've gone from the outdoor scene far away from this little town to a completely different 3ds Max scene, which is the front view of this building. Again, we are maintaining flexibility and we're optimizing workflow in creating our scenes because we don't have to have any extra detail in this close-up scene that we can't see. For example, we don't need other buildings or streets, nor even the landscape. However, Notice that we have some information on color and different materials, as well as other pertinent information. Close the image viewer. Double click storyboard panel 3.jpg to open it. Again, if you need to, you can adjust the size of the viewer. You'll see that we're now in an interior scene. You'll also notice that there's not much detail here. In this case, the camera is in this scene simply to give us an establishing shot of the interior space and what it looks like. An establishing shot gives the viewer an overview of where they are. Without it, switching scenes can sometimes be a little confusing, especially when the scene switches from outside to inside. Once again, close the image viewer and double-click storyboard panel 4.jpg to open it. Adjust the size of the viewer if you need to. In this panel, we have a different interior scene. It's a similar room, but the lighting is a little different and there are some different details. This scene gives us information about what we will need to render and tells us a little bit about the animation, including elements that will be in the scene. This storyboard gives us the kind of information that we need to present to the client and ask them, is this going to be acceptable for the animation you're looking for? These storyboards will be used as the graphical description for our 3D production final animation. 